I would uh, address the uh, question to Jal KJ Singh. Uh, sir, uh, theatrization of our armed forces has uh, recently been initiated by the CDS. Uh, could you uh, briefly explain uh, to our viewers the concept and uh, could you elaborate upon how uh, other armies of the world have uh, successfully transited the theatrization of command? Uh, sir, you're mute, sir. Yeah, Jan uh, Kocher, sorry. Uh, you have uh, posed a very relevant question. Now, the problem is in understanding of these uh, theater commands, we have to understand a couple of terms like joint, unified, like joint is suboptimal, unified is more optimal, like theater and like functional. Why I say this? After Cargill Review Committee's report, we experimented with one joint theater command, which was which is Andaman and Nicobar command, and one unified. I'll not say joint unified because here the degree of uh, unification or jointness has increased is enhanced. So a unified. This is these are my views. Nothing official. Unified Strategic Forces Command. These two experimental commands were set up. Now, how do others address it? You have posed this very relevant question. Uh, the best model to look at is US. In USA, you have Army, Air Force, Navy, and a Marine Corps, a separate corps, which, which has to be taken note of. So USA has got seven combatant commands and five functional commands. So USA has got Africa Command, Central Command, European Command, Indo-Pacific Command, Northern Command, Central Command, and Space Command. That is also the competent command in US perception. And there are five functional commands, which are cyber, special ops. Uh, sorry, there are four uh, functional commands, cyber, special ops, strategic, and transportation. So that's how they are looking at the whole thing. But in US, the various services have their own commands. Like Army has got its own commands. US Army has got four commands. It has got Army Forces, Force Com, Futures Command, <coughs> Materials Command, and Training and Doctrine Command. Got it. So, yeah, so, so it's, a, it's a different thing. Air Force has also got four commands within itself. And Navy has got six, seven of them. So, so this is how, and Marine Corps is also got. So this is a US prescription to the problem. They have theaters, they are looking at, and they've got functional commands also. Like we had Andaman as a regional theater and we had a functional unified of strategic force. These two are there. These two models exist with us. Now, how does China look at it? Let's look at China. China, like America only, instead of Marine Corps has got two more services. The, uh, it is interestingly in China, everything is PLA. So it is PLA Army, PLA Air Force, PLA Navy. Okay, three of them. And then there is rocket force, which was, we used to call it second artillery earlier. And there is strategic support force. Now they, they've got five. America has got only four, but China has got five of these. And that's where China puts its functional elements in those. China parks it over there. So China has got five theater commands, simple five theater commands. It's got an Eastern theater, which has got three cores. It has got a Northern theater, which has got three cores. It has got a central theater, which has got three cores. And we as Indians will, will feel very slighted that while we feel that China is our main enemy, China probably doesn't think that India is the main challenge. So China's uh, Western command, which looks after India, Tibet and Xinjiang and all is got only two cores. So it will it will give us a reality check how they, they are looking at it. And besides that, they have got, like I told you, Eastern theater has got three. Southern, they've got a Southern theater also, which is looking after Vietnam. They've also got two cores. So their main 
uh, focus or force level at least is in east north and center and and other two commands have got two cores each that's how china is looking at it and china has parked its functionalities in 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 rocket force and strategic support force what about our us while main enemy and we are addicted to it pakistan pakistan is only beginning to experiment with the command concept is not really is into this as yet because in pakistan they say the cricket match is played with by those core commanders they are the main guys they control everything so there is a reluctance on part of those people to allow this command system to come in but pakistan by and large has got nine cores and out of them two of them get designated as commands they have headquarters and all working there but senior most normally takes over that kind of a role and then they have got an air defense command and they have also got strat army strategic in which they have parked their uh, babar and all these kind of missiles they have put in that so that is nasser and all has been put into that so this is how pakistan is looking at it. so our challenge is to somehow fashion out what are our requirements and whenever i have discussed with late jal rawat and others uh, his conception in my perception is not been put out somewhere is that to start with a maritime command why because navy is most joint that's why navy gave up fortran for andaman and nicobar command so navy is always first into this to get into this domain so start with the maritime command acceptability will be high but then there is a very big question which you should address there are no solutions should we have had a one maritime command or should we have started with two because there are two different uh, fleets or seaboards that we look at eastern seaboard and western seaboard and see uh, the indo pacific command of america looks after us and then there is a central command which looks after pakistan so like this they have divided so if we have ambitions to grow into pacific can we do it by having a single maritime command these are questions which will have to be but basically how it is answered by naval officers and all is that our force levels are limited we have barely two aircraft carriers one goes into refit See, ninety-seven war also, Vikrant was deployed in the east towards Andaman Nicobar. Currently, also, if you read about that fire in one of the destroyers, it was on a deployment on the other side. So this kind of limitation is there. The next command that he was looking at it is air defense command. Air defense is the responsibility of air force, so give it to air force. Again, there are question marks. How will tactical air defense get meshed into this is it too complicated to do uh, air defense of entire india like this so these are answers uh, questions we can't answer so easily but this is the thought process which is currently dominant and then come to theater commands in theater commands uh, the thought process is don't tinker with northern command which is in two operations uh, don't change the captain of a ship which is facing the storm so let it be there and then have one command looking towards pakistan western theater command and one command looking towards china which is northern front western probably we have its headquarter at jaipur and northern have its headquarter there are questions whether kolkata or lucknow because northern's remit then would include uh, starting from himachal till entire area because only ladakh will remain with current northern command so I so you to conclude sir yeah so so that's how this is being looked at and then we have some agencies also cyber space special operations so that's how we are looking at the whole thing there are no clear cut answers but i hope we do it we should experiment and fail and then we can correct it but we should start thank you jai hind thank you.